Lord, welcome, welcome to Kingdom Born um, Ministries once again. We thank you all for joining us live today. And we always say living a kingdom life is the best life. I just want to thank everyone who's joining us today. Um, to all of you, please go tell someone in your family. Go tell someone that you know that there is a word from the Lord on today. We thank God most high and our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, uh, for this brand new mercy. And um, if you guys want to, to look at these videos later, if you can't join us on live, you can go to our uh, social media platforms. Uh, my website is KingdomBornMinistries.org. That's um, KingdomBornMinistries.org. Uh, we're also coming from Facebook, uh, Kingdom Born Ministries. Twitter is at Kingdom underscore Born One. That's at Kingdom underscore Born One. And we're also on, uh, we're also on Instagram. Uh, at Kingdom Born Ministries, at Kingdom Born Ministries. So we just thank the, thank God for each and every one of you. We're going to be praying for each and every one of you on today, as always. And just to let you guys know, those of us, those of you who have been uh, requesting requesting prayer, we have been praying for each and every one of you. I see them all, and it's a, it's a lot of prayer requests. And and God will surely answer your prayer. And some have God is already showing up and showing out in your lives. And we know that we are going through uh, such a time, perilous times right now. And we, uh, we, we know that God sits on the throne. And we, and so I, the day, and that's what we want to talk about today, is no doubt, no doubt. What does that mean, uh, Pastor? Evan? No doubt in your walk with God. No doubt, no, no, no doubt that He's going to show up in your life if you seek His face. No doubt. You have to remember that God has never changed. God has been there before we were born. He will always be there. Um, so show no doubt when it comes to your world. Let nobody take and begin to pour doubt in your life when it comes to our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. And um, we're going to be coming to you from Psalm 27. That's the King James Version. And I want you all to get your your your, your tools, your, your digital tools, your, your tablets, your, your MacBooks, your, your phones, uh, whatever the case may be, and join us. We're coming from Psalms chapter 27, King James Version. And always, I tell people to go back and read the word for yourself. Always research with anybody. Just tell you, you know, we have a lot of people on social media these days, and uh, it sounds good, and, and they're pulling out all this, all these type of research and all these type of things. Um, so we just ask you, always go, go do your research. Always um, make sure that you... You look to see what's going on uh, with that, okay? So we're coming to you from Psalms 27, the King James Version. And we're going to pray before we go into the word of the living God. Father, in the name of Christ Jesus, Lord God, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor, most high. We thank you for your son, Christ Jesus, Yahshua HaMashiach. We thank you for the blood that has covered us and healed us and saved us from eternal death. We thank you because you are God in our lives. You have caused us to live. You have caused us, uh, Lord God, to have our mind in the right place. You have caused us, Lord God, to have health and strength in our body. Even on our worst days, spiritually, mentally, physically, you are still God, and we thank you. So we ask that you will send your word to bless us on today. Send your word to heal hearts and minds, Lord. Uh, let the blood cover the bodies, Lord God, that need to be healed, Lord God, the finances, the marriages, Lord, the trouble in the home, God. We ask for your healing on today. We ask for your blood to cover us, Lord Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. Let your word anoint us and bless us to move forward in life, to move in this time of perilous times, Lord God, where there's doubt in the nation, there's doubt in the world. And we thank you because we know and we have faith that you're going to move by your power. Amen. Amen. So remember, please go tell your, your family members, go tell somebody uh, uh, that we are here live again. And so let's go into the living word of God. King Jack, I'm sorry. Yes. King Psalms 27, King James Version. And it reads as such, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up from my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though the host should encamp against me, my heart should not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing that have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord 
all the days of my life. This is David talking out in a prayer uh, that he's asking God to keep his soul, to keep his mind, to keep his life. And, he's, and at the same time, he's thanking God for already keeping his life. So, so David continues in verse 4, saying, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, his presence, his, 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 his place where he sits, and the secret and spiritually and mentally and physically, the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me up upon a rock. Let's stop there for a moment and let's go into this. And here is David. He's saying what God is in his life. He's saying, he's saying that uh, uh, God, you are the light of my life. You are, you are all that I that 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 makes me. You are everything that I am. You you have brought me through trouble and pain. You are the light of my life. The, you are my salvation. There is no doubt. Uh, who saved me. There's no doubt who's the God of my life. And he said, when the wicked, when your enemies, and all of us had the enemies, re enemies, whether they were family members, whether it was outside enemies, you know, sickness is an enemy. Financial uh, uh, disparity is an, is an enemy. And right now, uh, our political system against against this nation is is, is even an enemy. And, and no matter what your color is, your ethnic group is, it seems like our, our governments, you know, uh, uh, they're, 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 they don't know what's going on. They have doubt in themselves. We understand what's happening with our black sisters and brothers in the nation. Um, we're still being persecuted. We're still being killed by police. Uh, they're trying to take away voting rights. Uh, uh, there, there's a pestilence, a COVID-19. Now they're talking about variants. Um, and here at Kingdom Born Ministries, uh, past videos, and I encourage you all to go uh, look at those from the, from the beginning. And here at Kingdom Born Ministries, we've always talked about it. We've always... We've always uh, said what was what was going to be. We we've always uh, talked about how this was not going to stop. Um, now they're trying to blame the unvaccinated. Okay, okay. Now now they said it, it. But you have to remember they they touched on this a few months ago. They slipped it in there. Oh, there may be variants. Now there's the Delta variant. Now there's another variant. I believe I may not be saying this correctly. Forgive me. The Lamba the Land the Lenda variant. Uh, forgive me, I, I may be pronouncing that wrong, but there's another variant that they, if you notice they're trying to bring that one out, and because they never had control of it in the first place, and and we understand that vaccinations like any any flu shot that they had in the past or any 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 uh, 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 vaccine that they given us in the past for you know it used to be measles and and the mumps and things of that nature, but but. It only can do but so much in the human body. But here's a virus, if you notice people, God, and those who are listening, that just won't go away. And all you researchers, all you scientists, all you professionals who work in that field, you know more than I and more than anybody, you know uh, when a virus sets to the air, it's there. It's not going anywhere. So you cannot get rid of the virus. You, you, you can you can maybe uh, they're, they're saying that if you take the vaccines you won't get as sick or 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 you won't show show the symptoms as severe uh, the problem is there are people who got vaccinated and are getting and are, are getting um, reinfected so there's doubt there's doubt among men um, and no matter what we do there's doubt and God has all blessed us no matter whether you say or say excuse me God has given us doctors he has given us scientists he has given us engineers. But God still has to show he's God. He still has to show he's God. Once you start to doubt that he's God, then you got to start to question you, not God. You got to question what you're going through. Glory to God. And here, and here, uh, David, uh, our father David, uh, he said, one thing that have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. He said, first he said, listen, he said, one thing I desire. So you have to have a desire. Then when you take the design, you seek after your, your dreams, your goal. First, you think about it in your mind. I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a, a, a professional uh, a scientist. I wanted to be, uh, I want to have my own business, my clothing line. You have to desire a thing. Then you seek after it. The same thing with your walk in God. You, where do you want to be at in the Lord? Where, where's your walk? Where, where, where You want to be in the best place you can be in God. You, 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 and then you seek after that. You, you can't wait till that come to you or you can't look around. This is the wrong time to be down in your walk in God. 
This is the wrong time, and the trouble that we're going through here in this nation and around the world is the wrong time to be doubting the Lord God Almighty, the creator of the heavens and earth. It's the wrong time, kings and queens, sisters and brothers. It's the wrong time, Hebrews. It's the wrong time, descendants of Jacob. Uh, I, I know you matriculated uh, uh, to your business. I know you, you opened your own business. You didn't even go to college. You didn't even go to school. You, and you, and you are now a thousandaire, a millionaire, and whatever the case may be, and you, you got it going on. You got the bag, and you doing what you do, but God still kept you. It was God. Uh, if, any, if we're going to doubt anything, it's, it's to doubt our political system. It's to doubt those who are just of human flesh and blood. You, you, you always keep your faith in Christ Jesus. And it says, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after. And then listen to this. He said, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, in the presence of God. He's not just talking about a brick and mortar building. He's talking about in the presence of God in eternity. Um, when this life is over, when this flesh has laid down. But he, God has given us a pre-shadow of the house of God. And I know that we all had times when we grew up in churches. Those of you that grew up in the church, uh, um, um, we, 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 went, we know how church was. Especially us, my generation, who grew up in the church in the 70s and the 80s. It was strict. And, and, and I grew up in, in Kojic. And, and it was strict. You, you, there was not much for children to do. And then, then, but at the same time, they gave us the foundation of Christ. Uh, that supersedes anything that you've been through. The fact that you know who Christ, and if it wasn't for them giving us the foundation of Yahshua Hamashiach, Christ Jesus, where would we be at now? So now that we are grown, now that we have exceeded in life, now that we have matriculated in life, and now some of us, we have gotten so much money, and, and we have gotten our degrees, and now you want to doubt God. Now you want to you want to rock with the world. Now you want the world wisdom which has always failed us. God sustains everything. God allows everything. Glory to God. So, so this is a pre-shadow of eternity. So, so your church may not be, then find a church that you can hear the word from. Even foreign missionaries have a home base. Even foreign missionaries have a home base. They have to be accountable to somebody. And we're not going to like everything in the house of God. I, I, I grew up in the house of the Lord, and, and, and there's things I, and people know me. People, those who grew up with me, uh, in code, they know, they know Antoine, and they know what I felt about dogmas in the church. But yet, I thank God for that teaching. I thank God because if it wasn't for that teaching, I wouldn't be where I am now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he has been a joy to my life, to my wife, to my family, to you and to your family. He has sustained you. He has kept you. Even when you walked away during some times in your life, like I did to the dope boy, to the hot girl. Uh, and some of you grew up in the house of the Lord and you're doing your thing right now. But yet, you and I, I respect those, they still don't doubt God. And I don't care what you're doing, you 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 walking. You walking. You said I'm gonna chase God. I'm coming out of this lifestyle. I'm doing. I'm gonna do God. I'm. I'm gonna believe the Most High because I know what I could have been. Some of us should have been dead. Some. Of, some of us should have got our head blown off. Some of. Some of us should have been in prison. But yet God kept us. Glory to God. That's mercy. That's grace. So we thank God for the house of God. And, and, and he said, I want to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And he said to this, in verse 4, uh, halfway down in verse 4, he said, to behold the beauty of the Lord, to acquire in his temple, glory to God, for the time of trouble. Are we not in trouble? In the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. When you're in Christ, no matter what is going on in the land, he got us. He got us. He, he keeps you. He makes sure that you are safe, people. God, he put a protective hedge around you. Remember the story of Job? Uh, when, when Satan said to the Lord about Job, he said, Job, Job would fail with anything if you take that hedge around away from him. He said he, the only reason why he's so blessed is because you got a hedge around his life. He said, take the hedge away. We are protected by a hedge. By the glory of God. By the power and the spirit of the living God. And, and it's real, people of God. Uh, and for a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, and the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, a foundation, no doubt. A rock is sturdy. There's no doubt. There, there's no doubt. You, we, we have to find our way in the Lord. We have to find our anointing in the Lord God Almighty. But there's no doubt. You never doubt the Lord God. You ask him, where, where, am, where am I supposed to be at, Father? Most high? What should I be doing for the kingdom? Because it's about people. 
Glory to God. In verse 6, he said, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Oh, that's wonderful. When God, when God, when God lift your head up above your enemies, when your enemies think they got you on your job, in the school, those friends you go out with and you have those cocktails with, and, and you don't realize they're enemies because you're going wayward. Uh, because you you believe that you know best, but you don't even understand their enemies. And but then then when they begin to show their true teeth and they begin to bite at you, then you need God to come in to save you. That that's that's the God. When he starts to show your enemy, when you did nothing to nobody, when all you did was try to love your family and you try to love your friends and you try to love people that you didn't even know. But yet God will keep you when people come against you because who you are in him, because you are in the place when you're supposed to be in the presence of the Almighty. And, and let me go back to verse 6. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. Praise. Give God glory in the house of the Lord. Give God glory when you go into the house of the Lord. I don't care if you're in a barn. I don't care if you're in, in, in the middle of the desert. He said, well, two or three are gathered in my name. There I shall be also. That's church. That's church. Now, we all need somebody to be accountable, but we all can give God glory. We all can give God praise daily, daily. And we have to ask ourselves, are we, are, are we seeking God daily? Are we praying to him? Because we all are flawed. I don't care how, how, how much Holy Ghost you say you feel with. I don't care how old you and how long you've been. Yes, you're more seasoned, and yes, you walk. And I pray that I would get to that. When we, I have seen people, God, Marcus, full of the Holy Ghost. And I've seen they like God has sustained them, and they're still beautiful. They're 70, 80 years old, and are beautiful in the Lord. But we all need to give God glory. We all have flaws. We all, because we're still here. Y'all know what I always say, and my, my children, my daughters, and my son, they always laugh when I say, if you think you're that perfect, go and just be with the Lord. But God still got you here for a reason. And, 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 and you may have to give a word to somebody. You may have to talk to somebody. It may be one person on the face of the earth that God have you to be a witness to. Glory to God. And, and this is the God we serve. And in verse 7, let's, let's go to verse 7. Hear, O Lord, when I cry, my voice have, excuse me, hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Verse 8, when thou saidest, seek ye my face, glory to God, my heart, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I see. You just didn't simply just give God uh, uh, emotionless praise. You, you just didn't do that 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 pretty hand clap, you know, that that, that corny hand clap. You know, they, they pat their hand and you and you in the presence of the Lord. You just said, oh, thank you. No, you, you said, I'm going to seek the face of God in my heart. See, when your heart seek God, the truth will come out. When your heart is seeking God, when, when, when you do things you didn't intend to do, but your heart is right with God. And you like, Lord, and see, here's the thing. People say, well, God knows my heart. He sure does, but you never repented. See, it's not about our flaws. God know we mess up. Be you saved, I say. But it's, what about your repentance? Are you seeking God for the truth of your life? Or are you seeking political system? Are you seeking all these gurus, social media gurus? And they, they say a lot of wise things, and some, of them, and some of the things can be true, but they don't equate it to the Bible. They don't equate it to the foundation of the Word of God. And they all got it from the Word. All that wisdom came from the Word of God because it was taught over thousands and thousands of years, and what they did, they watered it down and make it humanism. They took God out of the wisdom. They took God out of it because they feel like they can be God. That's what all your superhero movies is about. We're not going to get into that right now. Praise God. Verse 9, hide not thy face from me. Put not thy sermon away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Glory to God. God, God it was God that helping you when you was about to lose your mind. When you wanted to kill yourself, when you wanted to just hide yourself from them, that was God there that told you to wake up and get out. That was God that woke your mind up. That was God when you lost your family member and you had to cry and you, you didn't think you was going to get through it. But God said, I'm going to bring you through this. You're going to cry. You're going to feel pain. But I'm the Lord thy God. I'm going to bring you through it because you were seeking me. Because you trust me. You had no doubt in my power and my glory that I can bring you through all things. I am the living God. Ah, it's Christ who died for you. No man died for you. Yahshua died for you. And Yahshua established the church. 
No matter how messed up your church, Yeshua turned to the apostle Peter. And when, when he asked the other disciples, who do men say that I am? And it was Peter, the rock, the Petros, that turned to the Lord and Savior and said, you are the son of the living God. And it was the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, that said to Peter, on that belief, on that truth, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Nobody, no political system, no new age philosophy, no degrees, no amount of money you got will ever take away the house of Christ Jesus. I'm not talking about your denomination. I'm not talking about your methodologies. I'm talking about what Christ has established in the earth. No one can take it out. Glory to God. No one will take out the church of Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Verse 10, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Glory to God. Let me go back to verse 9. Hi. Hide not thy face from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Verse 10. When my father, glory to her, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Look at this. Look at this right here. When my father and my mother forsake me, when my brother and my sister forsake me, God will take you up. Uh, I know some of you grew up without mothers and fathers. They didn't love you. And even if they were in the home, they were never there. Or, or, or you went through some, some type of thing. But when my father and mother forsake me, God has sent, give you fathers and mothers in the kingdom. He'll, he'll speak to you. And blessed be to those of you who grew up with mothers and fathers that's teaching you the foundation of the word of the living God. You don't doubt that because it got you where you are. It got you where you are, man and woman, king and queen. It got you where you are today. Preacher, it got you where you are. Uh, it was the foundation that you was taught uh, to our new generation. And I thank God for our kings who are going back to college and some are coming out of prison and they were set up and they and 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 and, and, they, and they were um, set up to go into prison. Some lot of them were innocent. Some of them went been in prison 40, 40, 60, 20 years. And God is bringing them out of the prisons. Glory to God. And, 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 and they didn't have mothers and fathers. They didn't know the way. They didn't grow up in church. They didn't have generational preachers and pastors. They, they, but, but they had went through some things in life that they had to move through. And yet, they don't even doubt God. But those who had grew up in the house of the living God, our own children sometimes doubt God. Our own parents doubt God. There are children who are witnessing to the parents. Glory to God. Thank God. Whichever way God do it, he do it. But never, never, never forget that God will be with you. You know, you, if, if your father, your friend, your brother, your sister, and them, if everybody turn away from you because you serving the living God, don't you walk away from God. Don't, don't fall into that trap. It's a pit. Literally and metaphorically, it's a pit. Glory to God. So verse 10 said, when my mother, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord would take me up. Was it not Christ when the disciples came to him in the book of Matthew? I believe um, Matthew 12, 46. Matthew 12, 46. He said, and the disciples, they said, uh, Jesus, your mother and father is out here. Appearing. He said, your mother and your, and your sisters and brothers. He said, who is my mother? Who is my sisters? Who is my brother? All those who would do the will of God. That's, that's, that's who I'm with. And you, are you doing the will of God? I, mean, I ain't talking about your mistakes. I'm not talking about what your, your do's and don'ts. But are you seeking? Are you chasing God? Because, see, whatever you do, once you come to Christ, God will take those things off you. That's why you got to come to Christ Yahshua first. You, you can't clean your life up, as we always say at Kingdom Born. You can't clean your life up. Christ Yahshua got to clean your life up. That's why he died. That's why he bled. To clean your life up. And if you're not careful in our modern world with everything that's going on with the with the viruses, you'll begin to doubt life. Now we see seeing is the, 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 the virus is surging again. But who we gonna trust? The Lord God Almighty, who sits on the throne, most high. Verse 12: Deliver me not unto the will of my enemies, to sickness, to death, to people, to, to politicians, to false prophets, to the you know, a lot of a lot of people prophet lying. On, on, on social media. A lot of people, they, they, they have no descendancy. And I'm not talking about physically. They have no descendancy spiritually. Where they come from? Well, who, who, who taught you? Glory to God. And he says, teach me, I'm sorry, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. See, when, when people are not real, they're going to get mad with you. They're going to get angry with you. When you begin to talk about the, the, the love of God, when you begin to talk about the things of God, they don't want to hear it. Watch that, people, God. 
Watch, watch that young kings and queens. If you're dating and you, you want to get married, I don't care how woman of God, I don't care young queen, I don't care how fine he is, I don't care if he in the church. But once you start, if he ain't never talking about Christ, but yet he in the church, or if, or, or if you say you, you, you walk in the things of God, but you going after a man of God who don't want your God, then he don't want you. I always talk to my children. If, he, if that man or that woman don't want your God, then they don't want you. Because that's how it starts. It starts off with little things. It starts off with little things. So you have to be evenly yoked. Glory to God. Your belief system in God has to be evenly yoked. We ain't just talking about money. We ain't, we're not just talking about your, your matriculation to your job. You making uh, uh, 200000 and and that man is only making 40000 Is he in Christ? Do he love God more than he love you? Well, and to that man, to that king, does she love God more than she love you? Because if they love God more than they love you, they're going to be there for you. They, 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 they always going to edify you. See, that's what marriage is supposed to be. You're supposed to edify one another, even in the natural, even if you're not in Christ. When you get married in the eyes of God, now think how much more when you are in Christ and you give you give your life to Christ and you get married in the eyes of the Almighty God who who, who established marriage. That's why the world and the LGBTQ community want to take over the sanctity of marriage that was established in the word of the living God. Because one thing they do understand is something about marriage. It's something about becoming one flesh. And God established the man and the woman. I, I'm not, I'm not uh, 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 picking on, on, on that community, but let's be honest now. Let's, let's, let, least, least let's tell the truth where it, be, where it began. You wouldn't have known about marriage if it wasn't for the word. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go to verse 12. Deliver me not over to the will of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and such as bruise out cruelty. In other words, they, they, they rose up against you because you serve God. They get angry. Verse 13, I had fainted. Look here. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. I had fainted. I would have gave up. I would have lost my life. When my child died, I would have lost. I would have lost my mind when my wife and my husband died. I would have lost my life when I had to go through that 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 financial that financial depreciation. That when I lost everything through COVID and and you lost your business and you and and, and you didn't know how you was gonna make it. He said I would have. Here's David said I had fainted unless I had believed. I don't know shit. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord. This is how good God has been to the people of God. He's been good to you even though you have not given your life to him. He woke you up every day so he can give you another chance so you can accept the Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, Yahshua, Hamashiach, so that you can come to him. That's mercy and grace. Uh, and and to, to some saints, we, we can be so merciless. Merciless. As if we have never been through nothing. As if we have never failed and been flawed, but we show no mercy to those who are trying to come to Christ in this age of time. They they are so they're so bogged down with so much stuff from social media, so many voices and I preached a message some time back called Voices, Too Many Voices Go back and watch it. Wonderful word from the Lord. And, and you're hearing too many voices. We got too many voices. I may, I may go to 2 Timothy chapter 4, the King James. I may go over there. Wait on the Lord. And then, let me go back to, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord and the land of the living. David always said, if you go through something, David, when he was praying to God, and he was about to lose his life from his enemies, from Saul, David would say one of the things David would say to the Lord. He said, now, Lord, you got to keep my life. He said, because the grave can't praise you. How do I how? The grave can't praise you, God. See, when you when you when you going through some things, you you gotta be you gotta be good with God. You gotta talk talk nice to God. You you Lord, now you know if I found favor in your sight. Now I, I'm not perfect, Most High. I, I got some things I gotta get straightened out. But if I found favor, that's Old Testament. That's Old Testament. Uh, uh, that that's 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 uh uh. uh that's where the people of God, when, when, when they were going through, and, and they will always say to the Lord, if I found favor in your sight, and, and, we, and we need favor from God, because he's been good to us, even though we haven't always been good to him, even though we have not always served him the way we should, yet he's been good to us, ah, because he's faithful. His covenant is true. When you're born in the blood of the covenant of Christ Jesus, Yeshua, he, he gonna, he's going to keep his covenant. He's never going to leave us. That's why we have no doubt in who we serve. We know who we are. We know whose we are. 
That's why we walk this walk. That's why we grow every day. That's why we build ourselves in the thing of Christ, in the things of Christ. And 14, it says, wait on the Lord. This is, this is, now here it is. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. What, what you're going through, what you're doubting. Wait on the Lord. You, 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 young king, young king, you, queens, you, you, you went to college and you, and you got your degrees and then yet you didn't get the job. Wait on the Lord. You, 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 you're the head, you're the child of the living God. Wait on the Lord. Man and woman of God, you, you 50 and you 60, but you trying to do something, you trying to get yourself to, to together spiritually, mentally, and physically, and you know you got some, you still got some energy and vitality in you. Wait on the Lord. Begin to seek God. Begin to seek the face of God. Uh, I, I have to seek God all the time. Just because I'm a preacher and that, that just because I've been called to, to preach the gospel, I still got to seek the face of God each and every day because he brings bring brand new mercies. There, there's some things that he have us to do. And whatever your dreams and your goals are, even at a mid-age, 50s and 60s, because we always talk about our young kings and our young queens, and, and I will encourage you to understand and know where you are in God at an early age. But you begin to seek the face of God. But even in your elder elder age, begin to seek God. Uh, God has blessed you to retire at, at an early age of 50 years old. What's next? Huh? What's next? What, 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 what are we going to do for the kingdom now? So now you got time to do because you raised your children. You, you, you've been a great wife. You've been a great husband. You raised your children in the admiration of the Lord. What's next? Glory to, who said you couldn't go back to school? Who said you couldn't start your own business? Who said you couldn't get back and start doing exercise again? Who, who lied to you? What demonic things whispered in your ear told you you could not do when God said you can? God is our source. God is our provider. You know what? Let's jump over real quick to Matthew no, no, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 4. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 4, King James Version. And I'm going to read this real quick. And here it is. And I'm going to end with this, people of God. 2 Timothy chapter 4, King James Version. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, Yahshua, who shall judge the quick and the dead, the living, those who are still living and those who are buried on judgment day. When he, when he, when he, when, when, when Christ come and return at his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season, reprove, this is for us preachers, missionaries, teachers, whoever you may be doing the will of God, this is what God says to you, to, to, to those you full of the Holy Ghost with power. And God called you to be a witness. He said, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt, lift up. With all long suffering and doubt, be patient with people. But sometimes we got to step on, the word of God got to step on our toes. He got to correct us. Be you a bishop, a preacher, a pastor, a teacher, a missionary, a deacon, a lay member. God, the word of God steps on your toes. And if you can't take it, then I question your spine in salvation. Because that's what we do. We got we to gotta get our toes stepped on. For the time will come. Listen to this. This is going to tell us where we at right now here in America and around the world. Verse 3, 2 Timothy. Chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come. Prophesying. He's telling Timothy this. This is the Apostle Paul. He, he's telling Timothy because he's about to die. He don't did his work. Glory to God. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear the word of the living God. They don't want to hear truth. The only truth that exists in the earth is the truth of the word of the living God. It is everything that this world is built on. Good, bad. God has created all things. But after their own lust, they shall heap up to themselves too. Social media. Yeah, social media. They shall heap. They shall build. They shall listen to all these teachers. Those teachers having itching ears. I need something to make me feel better. Don't, don't, don't correct me, uh, 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 elders. Don't, don't correct me, mom and dad. Don't correct. And they putting it in movies and they putting it in their shows where the children are telling the parents what to do. You know, as, as a people of God, as, as descendants of Jacob, as black Americans, you know, and culturally as a people, as a people, we don't get down like that. Because even if those of us who didn't grow, grew up in the house of the Lord, we had somebody that knew God and we, we knew our culture. And, 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 and spiritually, God is bringing us back to that. That's why you're feeling the way you're feeling, black people, descendants of Jacob. 
I'm not talking to my white sisters and brothers in Christ right now. I'm talking to my, my, my Hebrew descendants of Jacob. Uh, we, we don't play that. We, we know, even if we don't serve God, we know he's God. And they shall turn away their ears. Listen to this. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They listen to everybody else but the people of God. Oh, I went through some church hurt. So what? It's still true. I shall be turned, and they turn unto fables. You should never turn to fables. Even if you're going to turn, never justify your sin. We all may, never justify it. You know what? I can do what I want to do and live, live holy. No, you can't. You can grow. You can make mistakes. You can stumble. And, but, well, after you, but you're still seeking God. But you never justify it. You never tell God, well, God, it's all right for me. Nuh-uh. Lord, I'm growing. Lord, I know I shouldn't have done that. Lord, help me. That's 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 mercy. And 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 I and I, and I try to tell our young people, no matter what you're going through, and, and and whether you're young in age and young in the Lord, or whether you old in age, but you yet you're young in the Lord. You you fight your infants in the Lord Jesus Christ. Everybody has to grow. Everybody gonna make mistakes. Everybody gonna stumble along the way. But keep going. Keep seeking God. Never doubt. No doubt. And, and, and it says here, verse 5, but, but watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready. Here's Paul. He's talking to Timothy. Now Paul is talking. Verse 6, for I am now ready to be offered. And the time of my departure is at hand. They're about to kill him. They're about to, they about to kill Paul. He's in a Roman prison. I have fought a good fight. He said, I gave everything I had to the kingdom. I did everything I was supposed to do. I went through trials and tribulations. I, 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 I should have been dead 10 times over. But God yet kept me. And, and my body, my physical body is tired. My spirit ready to be with the Lord. He said, I fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Can we say that? Can we say that now? That you kept your faith? Not because you matriculated and, and, and you have a great job or you matriculated, you have a great degree. That's, that's not God. That's God just blessed you with that along in the earth. But, but but that's not going to keep your soul. Glory to God. Never think because your money is giving you wisdom. I know some ignorant, dumb people with a lot of money. We see it every day with our celebrities and athletes. We see it every day. Come on now, y'all talk back to me. It's, it's, this is real. And with the virus, everything that's going on, all those doctors that came on CNN and NSBC and CBS, nobody, everybody disagreeing. We are in chaos. And God is telling you this already. He's telling Timothy, this is what's going to happen. And he said, I fought a good fight. I finished my course, but we got to say, what about our fight? Are we finishing our course for the kingdom? Verse 8, henceforth there is laid up. Look what God said I'm going to do for you. How did those chair? Listen what God said I'm going to do for you if you keep fighting your good fight, young king and queen, descendants of Jacob, my white evangelicals who truly serve God and understand the plight of a people that's being persecuted in the earth. Look what God said at verse 8. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous, does not fear. God ain't fair. He's righteous. If God was fair, then we would get what we deserve. But we don't always get what we deserve because he's merciful. Hallelujah. And he said, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. There's a crown that he's going to give you on that day because you, you struggled and you, and you kept the faith and you kept going in the midst of even doubt because doubt will come, but you got to move that doubt by the faith and the word of the living God. You got to seek the face of God. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. And then he goes into telling um, Timothy to come to him. But here's Paul said, I fought my fight. You got to keep fighting. You got to keep fighting, man and woman of God. You got to keep fighting. I know your houses seem like chaos. There's, there's people that's hating on you outside of your family, in your family. And I know we grew up with pain, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep fighting. We, we are still people of God who have been saved 20, 30. We still fight through some things. I know some don't want to admit it, but we still fight through some things. But yet we keep the faith. We know, we know that God is going to bring us through. And we keep going after God. You got to keep going after God. No matter where you're at in your walk in God, you got to keep going after God. Not people wisdom, go after God. Glory to God. And we know some of our places of worship, there were preachers who was on TV who were corrupt, and they did things they shouldn't do. But that doesn't mean you don't find you a church home. That doesn't mean you don't find your place of worship. Because when the assembly there, when the ecclesia come together and give God glory, 
the presence of God comes in the room. You can give him glory at home. You shouldn't have a personal relationship. And we saw that during COVID. And I, I was the pro, one of the progenitors on social media saying, see, the church got to get, we got to look at some things. I, we we got to do some introspection. We got to change some things in the house of the Lord. But then Christ said, the, the, the Agarazzo, the Redeemer said on the rock that Peter said, that I'm the son of the living God. I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You got to keep fighting. You can't, you can't allow the enemy and demons and devils to come cast shadow. I don't care how smart you think somebody is. I don't care all these people. They got their own platforms and they, they get thousands of views. But are they talking that God talk? Because they ain't talking about the most high. Then what you talking about? But but they they'll they'll say some lies, but they'll dismiss God. They'll dog the church. What church you tell everybody in the church ain't right. But there's a lot of people who are. That's why it's still here. Because Christ said it will be. Who you gonna believe? Is it, do, will you bet your soul on that? Will you bet your soul on it? See, I I, I don't want to hear. Will you bet your soul? On somebody, would you bet your soul? On, it's time where I was. I've been walking with God since 1999, and before that, I was in the streets, and before that, I grew up in the church. I had, I had, I, I seen both sides. I've been in a war. I'm a veteran, so it's, it's not much people can tell me. It's not much you can say to me that I have not been through, and I know what it is. I know what it's like. To, to, to grow up in the house of the Lord and to have doubt and to see things in the world and, and all of that. And guess what happened? I ended up coming back to God anyway. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> it's still God on the throne. He's still the most high. So I'm praying for each and every one of you. We're going to go into prayer. And those of you who want to give your life to the Lord, if you heard this word and it has blessed you, I would encourage you to, to start to give your life, to give your life to the Lord, start to walk in the things of the Most High, no matter what you're doing, no matter the habits you got, no matter, don't let nobody tell you because you're not perfect. You're, you're Christ, and his blood has justified you. Lift your hands wherever you may be, in your kitchen, in your house. And we're also going to pray for families and marriages and health and strength. But those of you who want to give your life, lift your hands and repeat after me. Father, in the name of Christ Jesus, Yahshua, Lord God, I am a sinner. I believe you are the Savior. I believe that you died. I believe you were buried and you was raised again on the third day. I ask that you will forgive me of all sin. I ask that you will come into my life. Break the yokes and the chains of this world off of me, off of my mind, off of my, my spirit. Lord God, and I ask that you will save me. Let me be a child of the Most High. Let me receive the kingdom. And I believe it is so. And I am saved. You got to know you saved. Welcome to the kingdom. Welcome to, now you got to walk in it. Now you got to go into the word. See, now you got to be taught in the word. Go back and look at these videos. Go, go, go find yourself. And, and I know some of you, if you don't like the church where you're at and they're not teaching the word of the living God, then find some, seek God to find a church home. And the churches may shut down again if it's God's will. But you need a church home. You need somebody that's going to teach you the word of the living God. So, so we're going to pray now for all of those who want to, I'm going to pray for homes and families and marriages. Father, in the name of Christ Jesus, we now come to you, Lord God, as humbly as we know how. And we thank you, Lord God, for your mercies that are brand new each and every day. We now pray, Lord God, for marriages. Lord God, that you will stabilize, that you will renew and revitalize today. Young marriages, marriages that have been around for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, Lord God. Lord God, they're going through struggles in their home, their family, their health. We pray for the revitalization of the saints' health. We, we pray that we will come into a, a place, Lord, we, we understand, yes, we know that we know you spiritually, but we also have to be, be naturally healthy to do the will of the kingdom. We pray now for finances to be renewed, to be better stewards of our monies. We pray now, Lord God, that we will seek your face at a greater rate. We pray now that we will fall before you. If we can't get on our knees because our knees is broken, then we will sit, but we will seek your face. We will go into the word of God that is give life the logos. Lord God, we thank you and we bless you and we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and this you will do in the Christ Jesus, Yahshua, Hamashiach name. Thank God. 
Amen. Thank you all for joining us. Glory to God once again he, here at Kingdom Born Ministries. And remember, people of God, living a kingdom life is the blessed, best life. And be blessed and may the grace of God be on each and every one of your lives. Amen.